Today I want to talk a little bit about Art Store, which is one of our library's most popular resources. Art Store contains almost 3 million high definition images of objects from museums and archives around the world. It has images that are more diverse and delve deeper than the results one would typically get from a Google image search. It has excellent metadata, so you always are sure of what you're looking at, where it came from, who made it, how it was made. Art Store can be used, certainly, for the study of art history. But it's also a wonderful resource for doing visual and inspirational research for design projects. Let's take a look at how to access Art Store. To access Art Store, simply go to the library's homepage, fitnyc.edu slash library, and click on databases. Art Store can be found under the Art History and Fine Arts, Illustration, Photography category or in the A to Z list under A. In order to have access to all of Art Store's features, including the download of high quality images, you are required to register for a personal Art Store account use your FIT email. If you do not use your FIT email, Art Store has no way of recognizing you as a member of a subscribing institution. Now that you understand the importance of logging in, let's take a look at some basic features for using Art Store. There are two popular ways to use this database. One, obviously, is to search, and there is a simple search bar in the center of the screen. Another great way to use this is to browse the Art Store collections. You can see also that you can browse various institutional collections. Let's begin with a search. When searching Art Store, you can put in the name of a movement. You can put in the name of an artist, of course. You can uh, also put in the name of materials uh, that something is made from. So we could put in oil, or we could put in silver, we could put in a technique. We can also simply put in a keyword or an idea. This is wonderful for doing inspirational research. Inspirational research, you're looking for design ideas based on a broader concept. And this could be a material, this could be a time period, it could be well, almost anything. So let's say what I'm interested in is um, feathers as a design inspiration. Now, if I put in feathers, I'm also going to get things made from feathers, and that's fine. Uh, but let's just see what comes back when I do a keyword search feathers. So we get 6,126 results, and indeed, as I predicted, we are finding things that are made with feathers, including a number of fashion items. But we also have some other items on this, uh, this light box that has come back to us. We have pieces of sculpture, we have textile, and so forth. Now, along the side, on the left, you should be able to see exactly how many results came back from each area within Art Store. So we have 4,900 some odd results from the main Art Store collection. And then we have a breakdown of how many results came from different geographical regions. Beneath geography, which is expandable, that's what the arrow means. Beneath geography, we have classification by type of artwork. 
So we have utilitarian objects, interior design, fashion and costume, but also photographs, sculptures and installations, graphic design and illustration, architecture and city planning. So all of these are results where the word feathers has returned. And last but not least, we have contributors who gave these images, who supplied the images to ArtStore. And at the very bottom, we have a place to put in a date range for searching. So let's say I'm not actually interested in feathers as a material, but the depiction of feathers in art. So one thing that I can do in this case is to select one of the categories such as paintings and our search has changed entirely. We're still seeing objects of uh, clothing um, and headgear and other things, but we are seeing other depictions of feathers in painting. So let's take a look at one of these images. I'm going to open up this picture, which is a painting by Georgia O'Keeffe entitled Feathers White and Gray, painted in 1942. I know exactly what it is because on the right hand side I see item details with very clear description as to who the creator was, when it was created, the materials it was created with, in this case oil on canvas, measurements, and where it's from. It's from the Georgia O'Keeffe Museum. And I have also subject links that can take me to related objects and some rights information, which is very important. Now what can I do with this image at this time? Well, one thing I can definitely do is I can zoom in and I can zoom right in so that I see the texture of the canvas. I can see how this has been painted and I can get very close up so that the image is abstracted and no longer obviously a feather. I am also able to add this to a folder in ArtStore. I can download it and I have two modes of downloading it. I can download the entire image or I can just download the detailed view that we see on the left. In other words, I can come very close into an image on ArtStore and save that capture. and now we have downloaded that image. I can cite the item and we are given three different styles that we can copy onto a clipboard. This is very important for when you're doing a presentation. You want to be sure that you recognize where you've received the image but citing images um, it can be a little bit difficult and maybe it it may be a complete new idea to you to cite an image. We're used to citing texts, um, but you should also be citing images if you use them for your research. Even if that research is visual and inspirational, if you have something you're turning in, having a citation is really important. It's a way to recognize and be in conversation with another artist. So we can also print this and of course copy a URL for sharing. Now I want to talk a little bit about, go back to this one of adding to a group. We can add the item itself or the detailed view that we had before. If we add the item, we see that there are folders already 
we want to create a new group, give your group a name, feathers, give it a description, and save it for yourself. We can add tags if we wish. And so now I have a feathers group. Search is pretty straightforward. Um, and you should know that in advanced search you have the option to use those limiters that are on the left hand side with a search result. You can use them up front so we can immediately uh, do a search that would limit something to painting or to photography or to fashion. And we can also immediately put in a date range. So these are all of the same limiters that you would find in search results. So we're back here once again at the main art store page and now I do want to talk a little bit about browse. Browse is a, a great feature for if you want to have a look at everything from a certain region or a certain time period and region because you don't want to enter a particular keyword because you you want to make sure that you're capturing everything from that area or from that uh, time and place. Unfortunately, when you browse, you have to choose one of the collections. So choose the largest. It's Art Store. And here we can see that we have sub-collections within Art Store. And then we also see that we have classification and geography listed once again. These were previously limiters when we were running searches. So for instance, let's say I wanted to capture all graphic design and illustration from across Europe in a particular time period. What I can do is click on classification select graphic design and illustration, select all of Europe, and then put in a date range. Let's say I want to do 1920 through 1940. And be careful to change that first date to CE rather than BCE. You might have noticed we had some 19th century Art Nouveau images still up for some reason. And that's because I said to, for it to go all the way back to BC 1920. So this is important. So now we are looking at 20 years worth of graphic design and we are finding results from around Europe and if we expand this we can see how many results are coming from which countries. So we do have the majority of results coming from the United Kingdom but we have Switzerland, Russia, Spain, the Czech Republic, all of them are very well recognized in this results um, list. So I can simply grab one of these and once again take a look very close. I'm getting a sense of the lettering. I'm getting a sense of the aesthetic. I can make this go full screen and I can also do a comparison with another item. Okay, that came back in my search. And all we need to do is X out to bring it back to the original image. So that's a handy feature. And we bring it back once again 
we're getting all of the information we need about who made it, where it's from. We can download it, cite it, print it, copy it, add it to a folder. So, I hope you've enjoyed this presentation on ArtStore, and if you have any questions, please be sure to use our Ask the Library service. Thanks.